Um, who here has heard of energetic cords? C O R D S. So cords are, um, and an, there, there's another name, bioplasmic streamers. And what they are, they're connections we make with people. Mm -hmm. There's nothing wrong with energy cords. We connect with people when we smile at them, we give them a hug, when we have a business meeting with them, when we interact, there's energetic when cords. When we compliment them. Um, anything, any type of interaction. So when you interact with people, you create energetic cords. But the thing is, that's not a problem. A challenge is if the cords stay with you after you're um, departed from that person. You don't want to have long-term interactions with people all the time because it's exhausting, okay? Um, with close relatives and family members and things like that, that's one thing. But when if you walk through a store and you can feel everyone's energy and then you go home and you can feel everyone's energy, that's tiring for most of us, and most of us have that ability to a certain degree. So what is commonly taught is to cut cords. Do not do that. And for those of you, anyone's watching, I'm sure you've all been taught it because that's what 99% of the healers out there teach. That is the old way. The new way is you disengage, disengage. So I'm gonna teach you a technique to disengage energetic cords. It's really simple. It's on this paper, I'm going to describe it. Basically, the first thing you say is that you're a sovereign being. You get to choose the energies that are in your field. You choose the energies of peace, light, and unconditional love. Okay? Then you think of somebody you might have had a fight with, someone you've been mad at for 20 years, someone that is bugging you or irritates you. Okay? Those are all signs that there's courting going on. There's courting? a negative courting, C-O-R-D-I-N-G. Oh. Anytime you have a negative emotional state with somebody that continues to be there after you've um, interacted with them, you're sending energy back and forth to each other. You don't want to do that. This also applies with clients. Clients that you feel like you're taking home with you after the end of a long day. You don't want to do that. Or patients for, for medical professionals. You don't want to do that either. So what you do is you say, I am a sovereign being. I choose the energies that are in my field. I choose the energies of peace, light, and unconditional love, right? So this is on this handout. For those of you who are watching this, if you message me, I'll send you a link to this, okay? Okay, so then you say this person's name in your mind, whoever this is, and you can do this, think about this person. I release your energy from my field. I send your energy back to you through the violet flame. The violet flame is an energy that transmutes negative energy. I send it back to you through the violet flame where it's cleansed, blessed, and purified to do with as you will. So you're basically saying, okay, thank you for your energy, but I'm not interested anymore. Just like you're cleaning out your closet, right? You're going to take their energy. You're going to remove it from your, your space, your auric field. You're the sovereign being. You control what's in your field. You're going to remove it from your field. You're going to send it to them. You're going to clean it up on its way. Then you're going to notice what happens. What happens? Now, after that, what you're going to do? is you're gonna say so-and-so, 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 I release my energy from your field. I bring it back to me through the violet flame. You're just releasing, no cutting, okay? Cutting injures, it's like cutting someone's arm or leg off. Energetic cords are appendages, you do not cut them. You say, I release my energy from your field. I bring it back to me through the violet flame. What are you gonna do? You're gonna clean it up on its way. Where I bring it back through the violet flame where it's cleansed, blessed, and purified. I reclaim my life force and I reclaim my power, and so it is. And then you notice what happens when you do it. Now, do you guys want to do this? You don't have to say name of anybody out loud, but you want to do this as a group? Okay, yeah. we're going to say this out loud. Do you, so we're going to say it out loud. So, I am, I am, I am a sovereign being. I am, I am, I am a sovereign being. I choose the energies that are in my field. I choose the energies that are in my field. I choose the energies of peace, light, and unconditional love. I choose the energies of peace, light, and unconditional love. And so it is. And so, and so now, so pick somebody with whom you know you need to get over yourself. <laughs> Either they send you negative energy mm -hmm. or you send them negative energy, or both. Pick that person. Can you pick two? Just write one right now, one at a time. Okay? You can do this pick one person. You can do this again <laughs> later. One person. Say their name three times in your mind. Okay? And at this time, let's do this together. At this time, I choose to release my energy from your field. Bringing it back to me through the violet flame, where it is cleansed, blessed, and purified. I reclaim my life force energy and my power, and so it is. Just notice if you can feel any shift. Anyone taking a deep breath? Any shoulders dropping? Anyone relaxing? Did anyone feel a cloud of heavy, dark energy come off of you? If you did, that's because something shifted. Okay? Now, 
You say their name three times in your mind, and now you're going to release um, their energy from your space, your auric field. So at this time, at this time I cho choose to release your energy from my field, sending it back to you through the violet flame, where it is cleansed, blessed, and purified to do with as you will. I release it to you with love, and so it is. And then you notice anybody's ears ringing, anybody feeling a buzz, anybody feeling tingling, anybody just notice their breathing pattern changing. Just notice if you feel something shifting. Now, somebody had a release in here. Who had a release? Raise your hand. All right, so good. That's like a good half of the people. Um, if you don't notice it, it could be because we're in a public space, because you're in front of other people, because you don't want to release your energy in front of other people. So you can go do this on your own and see. It also could be that person you didn't have any energy with them. Pick somebody else. I'm sure we all have plenty. Pick somebody else that you have issues with. Try it. And you'll notice that different things happen with different people. So this is a tool, it's called the Violet Flame Relationship Clearing Practice. I created this about 25 years ago. Feel free to use this. Um, it's a really useful and helpful tool. It'll help you disengage from people energetically. So with loved ones, you're gonna have connections with them all the time. That's cool. But if you have a fight or you're in a negative space or you're not feeling comfortable, release it. And then when you re-engage with them and cord with them another time, it'll feel much better. You can also do this with yourself and your own stuff. So you can disengage with your own story about yourself being limited and not good enough and any negativity you have. So instead of the person that you're releasing, it's my, my story about myself. So you can release your own story, your own fiction about yourself, or as my colleague says, the lunatic in your head. So um, you can release the negative thoughts and feelings, so you can release that. You can also release your attachment to projects. Anybody have a project that they've been assessing about for many years that you've never let go of? Okay, there we go. That you can release it with a project too. So something, things that you're holding, and also stuff. Okay, so one of the reasons why it's hard to clean out your closet is because you have hoarding attachments to your possessions. Yes. Oh my God, did you know that? You cord energetically to your stuff. That's why you can't get rid of it. So you could do this process with your stuff to release your energetic hoarding before you give it away or donate it or consign it or whatever. So if you're having trouble cleaning out your closet, try doing this with your stuff, okay? Now, questions. Anybody have, you had a question? Well, what if it's not your stuff? What if it's the person you live with, their stuff? You need to move out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not kidding. If you have a problem with their stuff... We're on a 25th wedding anniversary. <laughs> well, you can teach them this process. I still love him. Okay, you and I will have a private conversation. Oh, yeah. We'll have a separate Sorry. conversation. Oh. That's not something... No, I it's spoke. serious. He I, could be on a, the TV I, I, show. I know, about. I know, but sweetie, I can't answer that right okay. now. Okay, all right, all right. I'll answer that in private. And why did you... Ma I'll answer that question, question. Or are you guys dying to ask private. her something? Let me answer her question. What's your question? So what about the project? So, you, so when it becomes too much, you release it, but it can come back to you. No, not. it's not coming back to you. You're going back to You're it. Going back to it. Yeah. So, but so, without the old attachment. Yes. Okay. Right. Thank so you, you can record, re-engage, okay. but we'll attach to it, not attach, connect with it in a different way. In a different way. So sometimes we have projects, and we need to stop doing them so we can do something else. Yeah, yeah. And then you release that, and then you do the other thing, and then you can come back. Because sometimes you're not supposed to get eight hours of that project done at one time. Yeah. Maybe you only need to do two because the universe wants you to do something else instead. And then you can come back, and then you're fresh. And when you feel fresh and good, then you can resume the project and you feel great. Make sense? Yes. Okay. Thank Any you. other questions? Yes. I just want to say I've... I've done this work privately with Ariel and had energy clearing sessions. Like I've been going through a lot of tra transition and trying to let go of a lot of old junk in my head and old relationships that don't work for me. And so when I'm making those changes and then I've hired her to like do some clearing, she helps clear. There's like a pattern in your energy field and if you don't clear it, it's like a puzzle piece. If, if you make changes but you don't clear it, those same patterns keep repeating. Mm -hmm. So she helps like clear the pattern in your energy field so that you're not attracting those situations and those people again. Gotcha. And so I've had amazing 
mm -hmm. amazing help Thank from you. her. So I, I, I want to share that, that if you're wanting to shift things or change things or, you know, not be attached to certain people, that she's a great resource. I appreciate it. So my website's arielhubbard.com. Excuse me. Sorry. How do you know that's your car? I know. Psychic. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> so, well, my, my first name is Ariel, like the Little Mermaid, except it's from Shakespeare, A R I E L. Last name's Hubbard, like Old Mother Hubbard. If you want to find out about all the stuff I do, and I do a lot of things, I teach you how to do this stuff, I do treatments. And um, I also do in person and long distance work. I work all over the world. And so if you want to work with me or you know someone who wants to work with me, you can reach out to me on the website or, and my contact information is on there. And then for the people here, my website's at the top of the page. And then I also have cards that I can give you. Um, and I don't, I don't live near Ariel, so we do it over the phone. Yeah, yeah, so and I've been doing energy work. work in person or over the phone. Also, I'm going to be giving for the people that either are watching or people here, if you want to get on my mailing list, contact me. I have a little sign-up sheet around here somewhere, right behind Diana, actually. If you put your email on there, um, it's not, I don't do, like, tons of emails. It's occasional. I'll send you a link to, link to a chakra alignment meditation. It aligns and balances the 18 chakras. And I'll send that to you as a, as a thank you. So thank you for your kind attention. Thank it was you. lovely thank working you. with you. And then I'll be doing little quick uh, treatments in the back room if you're interested. If you want to just talk one minute about your massage therapy. Yes, as well. yes, oh, thank you. So yes. I've been doing, you are a great massage therapist. I really appreciate that. So mm -hmm. I've been doing massage for 25 years. I'm trained in over 20 modalities. And um, I also train massage professionals. So I love doing customized treatments. Um, so usually what I do is energy work and massage in one session. I'm also a clinical hypnotherapist. So I also help people with behavior modification if they need that too. So I work on the mind, the amazing. body, the spirit, right? Yeah. Yes. Makes sense? Yes. Yeah, so I like to be well-rounded and help you at whatever level that you need. So when I see you, that's what I'm doing when I'm working with people. Thank you so much for the You're opportunity welcome. to be here, Terry. Thank you for being here. And good here, luck with everybody with your spring cleaning. Yeah. <laughs>